the basket weave stitch. This is diagonal and has a woven braided look. Hi guys, I'm Kristen and welcome to Studio Knit. Today we are knitting up this beautiful basket weave stitch and it is very tight stitch. So I think it is perfect for pillows and other home decor items. So we're going to be using regular knitting needles and yarn of course, as well as a cable needle. Now you can purchase a specific cable needle. What I'm using here is a double pointed needle that I painted pink to help you differentiate between my needles. And of course we begin with our beloved slip knot. I have the instructions here on the left and we are going to be casting on in multiples of two. And so row one, we start with two knit stitches, so that's K2. And then we're going to be repeating between those asterisks there. So to begin, we slip two stitches. So we're going to take this cable needle and insert it into those next two stitches and we're going to be holding it to the back. So that means we're going to be holding it behind our regular knitting needles. And then we're going to knit two from the left needle. So we're ignoring that cable needle and we're going to just knit two right here. Okay, now we bring the cable needle out and we're going to knit from that, knitting two stitches right here. One and two. And now we repeat this pattern between the asterisks all the way down the row. So let's do it one more time, a little bit faster. So we slip the two stitches and we're going to be holding that cable needle with those stitches to the back. Okay, now we're knitting two from our regular knitting needle on the left. So we're knitting one and two. And then we pick up that cable needle and we are going to knit those two stitches right there. One and two. <laughs> All right. So you are getting the hang of cabling already. This is great. So on this row, row one, we are finishing with just a simple knit two. No cable needle, just the regular knit two that you are used to doing in all of your other knitting. Okay, row two is purling all the way down the row. And now let's take a look at row three. So it's very similar, but we start by slipping those two and we hold the cable needle to the front and then we are going to knit two from our left needle. So one and two from the left needle. And then we knit two from our cable needle right here. And between the asterisks, we just repeat this pattern all the way down the row. And the last row is a purl row. Okay, so when you have done a series of these rows, this is how it's shaping up. And this is how our work looks on the wrong side, which is also the back side. I hope you are inspired to try this basket weave stitch. It is so beautiful, very impressive. Um, please like up this video, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss future videos. I also have some great knit stitch patterns to check out. I have an entire playlist of those, as well as the traditional basket weave stitch. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye!